with all the headlines and talk in the media about the shift in the housing market, you might be thinking, this is a housing bubble. It's only natural for those thoughts to creep in that make you think it could be a repeat of what took place in 2008. But the good news is there's concrete data to show why this is nothing like the last time. This is Keenan Isley with Team K-Square of Keller Williams. One, there is still a shortage of homes on the market today, not a surplus. For historical context, there were too many homes for sale during the housing crisis, many of which were short sales and foreclosures, and that caused prices to fall dramatically. Supply has increased since the start of the year, but there's still a shortage of inventory available. Overall, primarily due to almost 15 years of underbuilding homes. And we're living longer. So millennials come in, but we're still living in our houses. So this graph does show the data from the National Association of Realtors to show you how the month's supply of homes available now compares to the crash. Today, unsold inventory sits at about 3.2 months supply nationally at the current page, which is significantly lower than last time. There just isn't enough inventory on the market for home prices to come crashing down like they did last time. Even though some overheated markets may experience a slight decline. So, the graphs show today's housing market isn't like 2008. Mortgage standards were much more relaxed back, back then. During the lead up to the housing crisis, it was much easier to get a home loan than it is today. Running up to 2006, banks were creating artificial demand by lowering lending standards and making it easy for just about anyone to qualify for a home loan or to refinance their current home. That's not happening today. So back then, lender institutions took on much greater risk in both the person and the mortgage products offered. That led to a massive defaults, foreclosures, falling prices. Today, things are different and purchasers face a much higher standard for mortgage companies. So this graph shows what credit, credit availability index, the MCA data does from the Mortgage Banker Association. To help tell the story, that index, the higher the number, the easier it is to get a mortgage. The lower the number, the harder it is. In the latest report, the index fell by 5.4%, indicating standards are tightening. The next graph, this one is showing why today's housing market isn't like 2008. This graph, graph also shows how, just how different things are today compared to the spike in credit available leading up to the crash. Tighter lending standards over the past 14 years have helped prevent a scenario that would lead to a wave of foreclosures like the last time. Believe me, no one wants that to happen again. So the foreclosure volume is nothing like it was during the crash. Another difference in the number of homeowners that were facing foreclosure after the housing bubble burst. Foreclosure activity has been lower since the crash, largely because buyers today are more qualified and less likely to default on their loans. This graph does show that from the ATTOM data solutions to help paint a picture of how different things are this time. So why is it not like it was last time? Because homeowners today have options they just didn't have in the housing crisis when so many people owed more on their mortgage than their home was worth. Today, many homeowners are equity rich. The equity comes in large part from the way home prices have appreciated over time, 4 to 6% here in Oahu. So according to CoreLogic, the total average equity per borrower has reached almost $300,000, the highest in the data series. So Rick Sharga, Executive VP of Market Intelligence at ATTOM, explains the impact has very few of the properties ending the, entering the foreclosure process have reverted to the lender at the end of a foreclosure. We believe that this may be an indication that borrowers are leveraging their equity as selling their homes rather than risking the loss of equity in a foreclosure action. 
So this goes to show homeowners are in completely different position this time. For those facing challenges today, many have the option to use their equity to sell their house and avoid the, avoid the foreclosure process. So the bottom line is if you are concerned or making the same mistake that led to the housing crash, the grass should help alleviate your fears. Concrete data and expert insights clearly show why this is nothing like the last time. If you have any further questions, this is Keena Nisley with Team K Squared of Keller Williams, and I love to just have coffee and kind of talk about it. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.